If you've ever worked customer service before, then you've undoubtedly dealt with people like him. All right, before we dive into the video, let me just give you some background on this. So this guy books an appointment to bring his car in to have it serviced. And he makes the appointment for the day of, the same day that he wanted it serviced. He made the appointment. But what he failed to realize is that, is that the time that they give you for the appointment is not actually the time that they start working on your vehicle. It's the time that you drop it off. And then at some point, they bring it back and they service it. But he was being completely unreasonable and seemed to think that they can just magically work on his car right, right when he brings it in. And then the other stupid thing is that he makes the appointment for the day that he has a whole bunch of other stuff he has to do. So he has other appointments, other obligations at certain times. Who does that? If you make an appointment, whether it's a doctor's appointment or a service appointment for your car, you don't make it on the same day that you have other stuff you have to attend to right after. It just doesn't make any sense. This guy's entire attitude and thinking didn't make any sense. Sir? This is my manager. Yeah, I'm having nothing with for well, one thing, I had an appointment at 10.30, and my, my car fit right there. He picked up and nothing. So he's taking it in now. I'm a man shy of things. And of course, they were down a tech. And when you're down a person and you've got a whole bunch of other appointments, other people that scheduled before him, they're not going to get to his car right away. And that is just how it works pretty much everywhere, but he takes his frustration out on them. I'm a man shy of things. And, well, that's the gun you got. You need somebody else to take care of the other one. Well, I know. I don't have that many people in the well, I only have one person. Well, then people. I called this morning to have the portal. So this actually had been going on for quite a while before the recording even started. This was just like the last bit of it that you're seeing. Would you like to continue with the service, or? Such a big bucket of sunshine, isn't he? So once he realizes that they're not getting to his car right away and that he has stuff he has to do, he explains that to them and they offer to schedule a, a, get a shuttle set up for him to get him where he needs to go. And in this case, they use uh, rideshare services, Uber and Lyft. And of course, he box about that too. Well, I'm talking about my wife, she's good at Like just nothing is good enough for this guy. He gets out. I'll give her a call. I'll just take back back down here. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below. Let me know your your worst customer service interactions that you've had with uh, crappy customers. I'd like to hear your stories.